This is a version of a rocket stove that we uh, saw someone make, and we've modified it a little bit to do what we want to do. But we're gonna we're gonna make a rocket stove this way in preparation for our trip over to Ghana, and hopefully show the people in Ghana how to make these rocket stoves fairly inexpensively with cement and maybe some of the termite mound clay and some of the rocks and uh, then they can produce these themselves and use them in their their household they're made more as a small rocket stove for households what we have here is a five gallon bucket okay standard five gallon bucket we took a piece of pvc pipe and we'll explain why the the height of it but we in the top and bottom we actually made us some little disc that we screwed in here to make us a, a, uh, a little pattern and uh, that also allowed us, if you see here, to go into the center of the bucket here and tighten it down so it won't move. Now, the other piece, the next piece of this is going to be this, and this will be the, the firebox part of it. We've got it centered, if you notice, with a nail. And all of this is covered. The red that you see is all grease. We put axle grease, which is inexpensive, to keep the concrete from setting when we pour this with concrete. So we will put this on here and mount it in a few minutes. We've used some wire. You can use many different things, but something to reinforce the concrete. We will set the wire here. We will put this 4x4 here, and we will, we've got a screw here so we can tighten that down so it fits just like that. And so basically what you have is a rocket stove poured upside down. The fellow that came up with this idea was, was very ingenious in how this works because it's so simple, but yet what we'll have then, what it will look like, and we'll pour concrete around this and let it set. Then we'll take this off and we'll take, and then we'll actually push it out of here or dump it out. So this is what the rocket stove will look like. We'll just lift this off of it and we'll have a chimney for the rocket stove and this is where you'll feed it and that way the rocket stove sits right on top of the ground. And uh, that is, uh, that should make a fairly inexpensive uh, rocket stove they can use in their homes or outside their homes and be able to utilize the millet and corn stalks and things that they haven't been able to utilize otherwise.